My dear friends in Christ, today, fourth Sunday of Easter, in every fourth Sunday of Easter, the theme of Good Shepherd is taken and reflected. This theme is very commonly seen in the scriptures, in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of Jeremiah, even the King David was a shepherd. He wrote Psalm number 23 in which he writes God as his good shepherd who provides everything and who protects from every harm. Today in the Gospel of St. John, Jesus presents himself as the gate of the sheepfold. In those days, there are sheepfolds in which the sheep were kept safely at night. It is surrounded by a wall with a narrow entrance. Most of the time, two or three shepherds folds their sheep in the sheepfold and when they come in the morning they call their sheep and they follow him note while shepherd knows his sheep and call them by name the sheep know the voice of their master and follow him jesus uses this as a metaphor to demonstrate his relationship with us, my friends. He becomes our Good Shepherd and the gate of sheepfold. When we enter through the gate of sheepfold, that is Jesus himself, our life is secured in his protection. He is our Good Shepherd who knows each one of us by name. He knows our inner heart, our hopes and dreams, our strength and our weakness, our vulnerabilities, our wounds and where we need healing. He knows what makes us angry and frustrated and what makes us calm and peaceful. He knows, my friends, all our wants and needs. So my friends, Jesus is calling us by name and when he calls, we as his sheep must be able to recognize his voice. His voice comes to us in many different ways. Through the scriptures, through our friends, through our elders, through a sermon of a priest. Recall a moment where you have felt, I'm wrong, I need a change. Or a moment where you were challenged by a sermon or anything. Just recall a moment where you were strengthened, empowered and lifted when you were really down and frustrated. My dear friends, those are the moments where Jesus has called us by our name, where Jesus had come to us to have a direct contact with us. Those are the moments that we need to see in the eyes of our faith. Let's look forward for such moments in this coming week and try to recognize the very presence of the Lord as a good shepherd in our life struggles, my friends. At the same time, be vigilant. As Jesus alarms today that thieves would come to rob, in our lives also thieves would come to deviate us from the love and the protection of the Lord. They would tell us and mislead us, saying that God is not there and God doesn't exist. Or else they would say that Jesus doesn't love us 
If Jesus loves us, all these troubles will not come or befall on us. There may be so many people who would come and tell you that Jesus will not help you in this situation. But be on your guard, my friends. Remember always and at all times that Jesus had given his life for ourselves. He has given his life that we may have life in abundance. That's a nature of a good shepherd. So the Lord is my good shepherd who provides me with everything without a lack and who guards me even in the valley of death. Let's keep and cherish these thoughts and these words in our hearts for this week. Let us always murmur and utter the words that Jesus is my good shepherd so I lack nothing and he guards me even in the valley of death. Amen. God bless you and have a nice day.